Hi everybody. There's Mr. Winter. There's Mr. Winter, he just drove by. My name is George and Peter is our cameraman. You can't see him, but you will later. And this is the historic powwow oak tree. This is the mighty powwow oak tree on Clark Road in Lowell. And this is Belvedere. This is the Belvedere neighborhood of Lowell. And if you ever saw that movie with Cher, Moonstruck, Cher and Nicholas Cage, the guy with the one arm, where the, the grandfather, the old man, he's out walking the dogs and he's got like four or five dogs on a leash and he's, he's walking the dogs and it's a full moon and he calls it Cosmo's Moon. Well, it's a full moon today in Belvedere. And if you remember, the old man said, La Bella Luna which in Italian means beautiful moon. Well, Belvedere is Italian, and Belvedere is la bella videre, which means beautiful to behold. So this land and this whole area has always been something beautiful to behold, and that's why they called it that. The person who named it lived in Tewksbury at the time, because Belvedere was part of Tewksbury before it even became part of the town of Lowell, let alone the city of Lowell. <clears throat> and Belvedere was always and is still part of what was and is still called Wamasin. And according to Mr. Winter, who just drove by, coincidentally, very synchronistically, who is our historical nautilus, he's the curator at the Robert S. Peabody Museum in Andover at Phillips Academy. He's been there his whole life. According to Mr. Winter, the word Wamaset is an Algonquin dialect word, which the Wamaset Indians spoke an Algonquin dialect. And the word Wamaset means enough. In other words, enough for everyone. Like a cornucopia of plenty, uh, an abundance of riches, which is, the, which is what it was here in the confluence of the Concord and the Merrimack Rivers which was the heart of Wamaset. Now, where we are, up here in the Belvedere neighborhood section of Lowell, is sort of uh, northeast Tewksbury at one time. So this tree was in northeast Tewksbury. Clark Road is an old Indian trail, as Mr. Winter explained. And that's why it curves and it's not straight. Clark Road runs in the north, from Andover Street, which is that way, might want to. And that house there behind that Miriam Lane sign, that yellow house, is the old Hunt House, the Samuel Hunt House, which became the Clark House, which Leo Garno lives in now with Sandra, his wife. And this house here used to belong to Estelle B. Hall, and she's the last woman buried in the Hunt Clark Cemetery over there on the other side of this house on Elcott Street. Now this house here was passed down to Estelle B. Hall's niece, Mrs. Mary Dunn. And the Dunns lived here when we moved here in June of 1961. And then the Dunns sold this house to Leo King, Dean of Students of Lowell Tech, U. Lowell and UMass Lowell. He just passed away, God rest his soul. And now Joyce and Charlie Sullivan live here, and she used to be Chancellor Hogan's secretary. Well, all this land was part of Wamaset, and it was all public land. Native Americans had no conception of private, personal property when it came to land, only when it came to their own personal possessions. So Wamaset was this whole area. And it, it extended from, pretty much, as far as we know, the river in the north, on the other side of Andover Street, which Clark Road continues down Raven Road, where ravens still congregate. On the other side of the Merrimack was Pawtucketville. Those were the Pawtucket Indians. They were related to the Wamasset Indians. They were all one political group. That way is Tewksbury, and that's toward the south. Before they built 495, Clark Road was called the Old Bridle Path. 
So it was the old bridle path, and it was an old gravelly dirt road. That way is east. So that way is the ocean, and that way lies North Tewksbury and Andover. And then behind Peter, that way where the cemetery is, of course, is the west, and the sun is setting now in the west. And over there is Chelmsford and the Berkshires. So here we are in northeastern Massachusetts and Lowell, Massachusetts, which was once 